LibreOffice 7.4 was released recently, but we want to focus on 7.5. So we have 7.4, 7.3, but we want development versions. So let's see nightly builds here. We have 7.4, but we go to master. So we have four windows here. I'm using Linux, so I have chosen this one. Of course, you can you can choose whatever uh, it's right for you. Now, if we open LibreOffice first time, we have this tip of the day and we are offered to change the user interface. So let's run this action. We have this window, so we can select in the background how the LibreOffice user interface look like. Let's choose tabbed. So this is uh, similar to the ribbons used in Microsoft Office. You can see in the top. So this is a standard with um, menus in the top. In the tab, we have tabs and functions. So let's go, let's see another one single toolbar. It's with uh, one row of sidebar. It's have on the right, the toolbar, but it can be activated anywhere. Tab compact, you can see we have just two rows group bar compact is uh, grouping by functions and contextual single one line let's go to uh, microsoft ribbon so we have now a page let's write title and some text let's style this one as heading very easy let's style this as text body now let's disable um, auto spell check. Let's, okay, let's go to home. So we have something that looks familiar for more people. Uh, we can go to options here. We can change the uh, icons. You can see this is cipher. Uh, there have been made some changes in the last period. Uh, we can choose Calibre if we like more colors, uh, Breeze. So you can choose what style do you want. Let's go to open a new spreadsheet. Uh, we can see we have a white background in the document. So why is that? Because we are not in dark mode. So let's go to settings, application color. We have LibreOffice and LibreOffice uh, dark. So this one, it's a dark one. Uh, we have the document also in the dark, in the dark mode. So now let's open a spreadsheet and the background background is now uh, black or dark. Let's uh, see, uh, let's change now to default. So this is how LibreOffice is looking. We can decrease uh, the icon size to small if we see well enough. And of course we can change icons to cipher dark or breeze dark or whatever we like to use uh, with uh, in our LibreOffice. So it's not looking so good. So let's choose this one. Okay. We have many options. We can match our taste in design. Uh, it's very important here to write our name in order to uh, open a document where we left. Here is the view we changed before. Uh, advanced, I disable Java until I need it. Online, I disable, I ch uh, check by myself a new version and proxy, I set to none in order to uh, work faster. Let's see, so very easy from anywhere, I can change the style to Microsoft Ribbon again. Maybe it looks familiar for you, this one. So LibreOffice looks very fine in 7.5.
we can activate toolbars, for example, find here. Uh, let's write something. Let's search for 23. It's here. Let's write another number. Let's search again, but let's search with find all. So we have two results and I can click and go to that reference. I can activate filter, auto filter, and so on. Um, so this is LibreOffice 7.5, it's in alpha at the moment. We can read the release notes and test it. So we can see the progress that have been made uh, in the last days. Uh, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more videos.